under penalty of perjury. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Your Honor, if I could provide a quick update. Um, the mm -hmm. last payment um, we had documented to the court that was made was September 18th, but a payment was received three days ago, um, October 3rd. We have a payment of $81.22 made directly by the non-custodial parent. Okay. Okay, so Mr. Clark, do you have a job? What's What's going on? Well, not at the moment. I got laid off, but this and the... Um, the payment I make, I made the payments, but like the eighty-one dollars she's saying I made, I made a payment of, I had a receipt, I made a payment of one fifty. Why mm -hmm. they only send her one um eighty-one dollars? I don't know. I do have another open child support mm -hmm. case, so I don't know if they sending more money over there because every time I send a hundred or better, they only send her like seventy or eighty dollars. Mm -hmm. But I, when I go on it, I do send it directly to her account. So I guess they just. Divided. Yeah, you know. it's going to automatically split because you've got more than one um, obligation, which means that essentially you're going to have to pay enough to cover both accounts, you know, yes, for the parties to get the right amount of money. Because it's supposed to came directly out my check, but they never started to taking the payment. So, mm -hmm. and like now the job that I was on, I'm only was a temp, so they just laid me out for a minute. So but I'm still trying to pay what I can. Okay, Miss Ridley? Curious me, yes. I had to speak with Miss Abercla. I don't know why when he get on here, he tell y'all a different thing. But when you told Abercla he had to pay five something, um, he didn't, he, for one, he didn't make a, he made a late payment. And then when he did made it, he made it like when he wanted to. Abercla have been working during the time when you did told him to make the payment. He had enough to cover that. If he could celebrate everything else, buy everything else, I'm not, at this point, like he already in the 18,000, no matter if he got two cases or what. So when I come to this court and you all send him to pay this, I understand he got two chat um cases open, but like you just told him, he, he do have to cover more than one because at the end of the day, these kids still had to be taken care of and we still have a life just as well in Mr. Abba Clark. Mm -hmm. And if he all celebrating stuff, he could celebrate his this payment. It shouldn't be no mm -hmm. excuse. And when I talked to him yesterday and I asked him was he gonna make the rest of the payment, he told me he was today. So then when I called him this morning, he told me his car broke down, he couldn't make the payment. So all these lies, mm -hmm. it, it's in, in so, the Bronx. Mr. Clark, and well, just Mr. first, Mr. Clark, did I did I ask you to make a payment of five hundred dollars? His payment. Phone is breaking up. Hello. Uh, yeah. Did I ask you to make a payment of five hundred dollars, Mr. Clark? Yes, ma'am. You did by the six. Mm hmm. And so I've what happened to that? But payments I was making, the payments I was making, I don't know why they was taking the money. Like now, what? And, 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 no, but there, what I'm it's saying is, up to five hundred. It's still equal up to five hundred. Mm -hmm. Can I speak, yeah, Your Honor? Yeah, but I, I just want to let you know, probably the reason that I asked for 500 is because then she would get her full amount if it even if it divided. So when you don't make um, the full payment, you know, she's not going to get anything close to the amount that she's entitled to. But go okay. ahead. Yes, but at the end of the day, I'm trying to make the payments. We have another child also. Mm -hmm. I'm also taking care of another child that's not on mm -hmm. child support. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I have little kids, but at the end of the day, I know that don't matter, but we have another child. I'm taking care of that child also that's not mm -hmm. on child support. So it's not like I'm I not mean, if you already obviously you already knew that you had children to support at the time that you had this other child. So it's hard but for I me to make the payment. Take that I as an excuse. Much I got laid off. If I wouldn't have got laid off, I would have I would have made the whole complete payment. So, Mr. Clark, what prevents you from getting a second job? I'm working on it now. I'm going. I'm through the temp service. They called me. Mm -hmm. Oh, they didn't find that for me yet. I would have been at okay. work. Okay, but aren't there other resources out there? Like during the summer, you can do landscaping. There's all kinds of things you can do. Uh, car washing that don't require a lot of background checking and so forth, and it's seasonal. You know, is there something else you can do to get this child support on time? Well, I'm working on it. Okay. I'm 
make the payments. Like just like now, we got a child now, mm -hmm. a little child, and his birthday coming up. She just called me the mm -hmm. other day. She want me to give three hundred dollars for that mm -hmm. on making payments. Mm -hmm. Well, but it, it doesn't really count if it's not going to the child. Okay. Um, Miss Miss Ridley, you keep interrupting everybody, but I'm going to give you a chance to talk. But I will tell you that your phone your phone is very distorted. So when you are talking, we can't hear you. I'd be trying to be as you all could see. If you all see Mister, I'm not okay. I'm sorry about that. But what mm -hmm. I was saying. I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Ridley, but we're we're not hearing one word. I do be trying to call and be cordial with him on his payment, and like I even told him, like he knew you had gave him a um, date for to pay his um, child support. So I call and be like, hey, when you pay, make your payment, me now. Hello. Hello. Oh, okay, Miss Ridley. Uh huh. You hear me? For this moment, but I'm I'm. I have to be honest with you. Most of what you said, we could not hear. You you've got a very bad line. But I I do understand that you know you're you're I'm very sorry, frustrated. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I'm. Well, you can hear me. Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Can you hear yes. me, Yarn? Yes, Mr. Clark. That just like now, like I know I ain't trying to put y'all directly in my business, but just like now, I'm paying a backlight bill for seven hundred dollars because Miss Redley had my life. Okay, all Nobody I'm going to tell you about that, Mr. Clark, is that it's very important that you speak secondary employment. You know what kind of bills you have. And you need to take care of them, but they cannot go in front of taking care of your children. Of you know, course. everybody, everybody has bills and everybody can get on here and tell me about all of their other financial obligations. You can buy a new car tomorrow and have bills that need to be paid as, as a result, but it does not negate your responsibility towards your children. So with regards to you, Mr. Clark, I do appreciate that you knew what kind of situation you would be in. So you did make two payments, but I, I made, want you I made three. OK, that's very good. They Unfortunately, they still don't add up to the amount that you need to be paying. So yes, you need to, you know, kind of escalate things and get things to that next level so that we can start seeing regular payments. Okay. Yes, okay. So I'm going to. You, Arnie, you um, hear me now? I'm sorry because I stepped outside so you all can hear me since you all did. I can break it up and I would like to be heard. Okay. I can hear you now. Okay. As like I was stated before, as you can see, the the rear that he in, he's oh, $18,000. Mm -hmm. Due to the fact, yeah, Mr. The, the small payment, even when I don't come, you know, take abandonment, walk, this, the payment's still small. So I just came to a conclusion. He really been slacking since we had the child. So now I'm at the conclusion that, you know, come to court and like let he, let you all tell him that they need to be paid every time the payment is due. Like every time he it's time for a payment, we need to set a court date so we can have that payment. Because mm -hmm. if not, he'll try to throw small amounts and throw his other life and his other problems and his other kids at the end mm -hmm. of the day, these still are your kids. And and he he's stating that we have another child. He he luckily and glad that the other child has not been added because I could easily add it and there'll be more problems for him. But I'm trying to be co-parent for him and trying to make him set these payments because he already over 18000 in child support already mm -hmm. for one child. And these payments need to be coming $82, not getting nothing. Like, and I understand mm -hmm. he got an older child, but like you said, he know what type of, you know, predicament in a job. When you told him to make the payment, he was still celebrating things. If you knew you had, to, you you got a, a child support payment, you need to celebrate that payment. Then go celebrate after, you know, you make your payment. Because at the end mm -hmm. of the day, you still got to take care and handle your business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then when so we come in court, he think yeah, he could give y'all these, like, these little fake little, 
little lies and little assumption. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, I'm still ain't getting no money. There's no money. Mm-hmm. Okay, but I am going to say that I do appreciate that Mr. Clark is paying you something. Um, I do have quite a few clients that don't pay anything. I do too. So, you but, know, so but, so I'm I am trying to to keep it going, and I am going to reset him for another date. Um, because we want him to get to the amount that he needs to be paying because $260 is a very low child support for 2023. And, you know, I, I wish he would appreciate that because, you know, a lot of people have child support obligations that are a, a lot higher. And, um, you know, and if you keep messing up with the custodial parents, somebody is going to go back and they're going to get a modification that you're going to see a lot more money that needs to be paid. So I hope you understand that, Mr. Clark. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a reset for I'm going to put this one for November 3rd as well so that I can observe what's going to happen in the month of October um, so we can get that payment um, through it. But I'd like to see a full payment um, for the full $260. I know that that means that you're going to have to make a payment over $500 for it to get to that point, but we want to see what that looks like, okay? So make sure that it's paid by that November 3rd court date. You understand what you need to do, Mr. Clark? You say a total of how much, ma'am? You're, we want to see a full payment of $260. And that means that you're going to have to make a child support payment of around $500 for her to see that. Okay? All because right. it's going gonna, it's gonna to divide. We already know that. So for her to get her full child support payment, you've got to make a payment of around five hundred dollars. Mm. Are you clear? Five hundred dollars yes. is is not a lot of money, Mr. Clark. If you got yourself another part time job that amounts to one hundred dollars a week, a little more. So you need to get out there during this season. There's plenty of uh you know, leave breaking, pine cones. There's plenty of outdoor work to be done. Um, you can do it. Okay. So let's get moving. And that way um, you don't have to be spending all of this time on Zooms uh, explaining why you don't have any money. Okay. Yes, so ma'am. you are dismissed, both you and Miss Ridley. All right. Thanks. Okay. You're welcome. Do you swear that the testimony that you're about to present is the truth and nothing but the truth under penalty of perjury? I do. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Mr. Harper, there seems to be a problem in your case that we need a DCSS number. Can you explain that, Ms. Serena Camarillo? I found three zero zero two five seven one zero. Exactly. Um, somebody might need to go on mute if they've got people in the background. Yeah, that was me. I'm sorry. Okay. So um, do we have any any amounts on this case? The last payment that I see, Your Honor, was made in 2016. Oh, no, nah, I just made a payment. When? Like yesterday or the day before? Yeah. Right. So yep. I wouldn't have that yet, Your Honor. But prior to so, yesterday's payment, it would be 2016. Uh-huh. So how much? how much did you pay? Oh, I paid 265, but they deducted like eight dollars, so it ended up being like two, 256, 257, something like that. Oh, two, I paid 265, and the fees was nine dollars, 256. And how much is your child support obligation? Monthly? 260 a month. I mean, I plan on paying more, but you know, I, I was uh, unemployed, so I just had to straighten from, money together for from my child. since 2016. No, nah, I got out of prison in 2021. Oh. Uh, Okay. Okay. So are you working a job now? No, I'm not. I told my license got suspended for the child's part. I see I didn't know that this case was reopened. It was closed back Mm -hmm. in 20 
17 or something like that, 2016. It was reopened while I was in prison. So when I got out of prison, I did I didn't know that I was on trial, that my case was back open. I found out when I got pulled over by the police, they took mm-hmm. my license, told my license was suspended for child support. That's how I knew about all this. Okay. That's why <laughs> that's why my rear is so high. If I would have knew this whole time that I was on child support, I'd have been paying toward that. I, I had been giving her cash out money. My child. Not her mother, He's been giving the kid cash out money, not the custodial parent. Yeah, but now I'm making payments, so it's all good. Mm-hmm. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, and I want you to understand too that you've got a very low child support amount. So right. I I would, you know, recommend that you be very diligent in paying it because if you get the oh, non-custodial parent upset, mm-hmm. you're gonna have a much different story on your hand. Not yeah, to mention so. all of those arrearages. Okay, so um, so you do intend on making this payment monthly. Yes, I'm actually going to double the payment every month so I can try to catch up on the rears. Okay, that'd be great. I'm actually um, going to make, I was going to make a $500 payment, but I had to split it yesterday and the day I'm going to make another payment today. Okay. Do you have other child support obligations? No, I got another okay. child, but I'm not on child support. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so um, Miss Bailey is—is is he usually pretty good at keeping his word? No, ma'am. No. She lie. Whatever, man. I can show no, you ma'am. receipts. He is not okay. good. At no, no, his word. it's okay, Mr. Harper. Let's. He she does hasn't, this, and she then hasn't seen you in a while, so okay. He does not Some, keep his word. I'm thankful for the payment that he said he made. I just mm-hmm. want to know. I guess my next steps is how do I receive that payment? Um, it should be coming to you through the, um, is it through an app, Ms. Camarillo? Is she lying? It's however <laughs> she is set up to receive the payment through DCSS. Um, if well, she well, wants yeah, to call yeah. and double check with them how that's set up, she can put it on an Epi card. Um, she can dictate the way she just needs to call DCSS and set that up. Okay. Thank mm-hmm. you. No problem. This is all I ever wanted. Okay. And I'm going to okay. chat you, Miss Bailey, right now, just so you have your case number, because I don't think you had the right one. So I'm just going to send yeah. that to you in the chat, just you, okay? Okay, okay. thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, and... Um, well, y'all, come... y'all, be, y'all be wearing us down by child. What, what we got to do, see our child? Um, Actually, pick up your child. child. Actually, pick up your child. Okay. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the judge. I'm talking right, to you. Because you don't ever speak to the parent. That's your problem, sir. No, okay. And okay, Ms. Mr. Harper, Mr. Harper. Um, I don't talk fact, to her, y'all. The, but, it, but I don't have anything to do with visitation. So I I'm can't. Ask the you. question. That's all I asked. I said, what do I need to do? I can't, I can't answer it. I cannot answer it because I don't have anything to do with the visitation portion. Um, I, I only deal, I I only deal with the money. Okay, so, um, you know, now have you gone through the process of legitimizing your child? No, okay, you've been muted. But I will tell you that um, if you want to be assured of being able to visit your child, um, there's a court process called a legitimation that you would go through and then no one can stop you because you will have legal rights to see your child. Um, so if that's something uh, that you want to do, um, you know, go ahead and ask the proper questions through child support and they will be able to assist you with that. Um, what is my first calendar in December? Give me one second. Just let me look. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then a little bit of money. <laughs> December the 1st. Right. December the 1st, because I'm going to give Mr. Harper two months to show me what he can do, because he's going to make sure that he makes that November payment on time. And he's going to do everything right, because he's going to have to redeem his reputation here. And nah, I, I no, think I he don't. Can... No, I don't. 
Why not? Be in my room. I've been taking care of my child whole life. Talk about okay. Then then that's part of I ain't showing that. us what you can do. Yeah, okay. I just gotta stray my mm -hmm. the, the proof is in the pudding. That's right. That's the way it works. So either you either either you're telling either you're telling me the truth and I'll about. see I'm it. gonna pay the payment. That's all that is. Okay, yeah. that's all I'm. That's all I'm asking. So I'm gonna go ahead. Money is not an issue. Dismiss. Never been an issue. It's an issue for okay. her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and dismiss both of you. I'll see you on December the first, and I'm sure you'll Thank do you, it. Dad. Do you swear that the testimony that you're about to present is the truth and nothing but the truth, under penalty of perjury? I do. Yep, okay. I do. Okay. Okay, so I'm showing that we did recently receive a payment for $214.54. Um, Mr. Haygood, are, are, you, are you making these payments or is it through an employer? I'm making them. You're making them? Okay. Um, the problem is it seems like we're only getting one payment monthly. And mm -hmm. your your amount is four eighteen. So, are you planning on making a, a second payment for September? For September? Yeah, because in September we only received two fourteen, and the amount is four eighteen. Yeah, I don't have anything else to pay for um, September. Okay. And so are, are you working? No, I'm disabled. I'm on disability. Okay. Um, is it through the state of Georgia or military? Military. Military. Miss mm -hmm. um, Arena Camarie, I thought they usually allocate money. Oh, you're on mute. <laughs> Is through the military? Yes. Have, you know, I'm not sure about that, Your Honor, as far as do we send it directly to the military? I mean, I know that um, you can always go to someone and they will then reach out to Mr. Haygood, right? Like his commander to make sure he's paying. But I don't know, um, Mr. Haygood, do you know the answer to that? If there's someone we could send it directly to and they'll then send in the funds? No, not at all. It's um, a um, it's a disability check. I'm not currently active. Oh, it's a disability. Is it VA benefits? Yes. So you're sometimes they'll comply and sometimes they will not. It's not that is not as um. I've gotten different answers on that. Sometimes they'll send it in and sometimes they won't. So, May Mr. Haygood, have, have let me just one thing. He needs have to pay directly. To have you gone to disability and made them aware of the child and told them about your responsibilities? Have I gone to disability? No. Right. Okay. No. Um, okay. Go ahead, Ms. Harper. So I don't know if you are, or you, if you remember the case, um, this was like where he failed to add her onto his benefits because I failed um, to provide him with her social never presented me with mm -hmm. any information as far as going to the VA to obtain benefits through the VA. My child has asked him for for his information to, she's a senior in high school. She's trying to go to college. Um, she's asked him, um, personally asked him for his information so that she can kind of add him to her applications. And his response to her was that he tried to set up something for her when she was younger. Therefore, he's not in a position to want to help her with her college applications. Um, as you can see, these payments are being made only because we are having to come to court. Mm -hmm. So if he wants to be an inconvenience um, to my child um, for her future, then I can be an inconvenience to him and we can just continue court until he's off of child support um, June. And I'm fine with that. Well, Mr. Haygood, why not go in and see what benefits are available for your child? I'm not in a position to do that right now. He doesn't want to because he's bitter. 
Not mm. bitter about anything. Well, the problem is, is that you're not paying the full amount. And Miss mm. uh, Arena Karenia, how much of uh, arrearages do we have in this case? $4,916.73. And he did make a payment October 3rd in the amount of $387.98. Oh. Okay, so that would take us up to the um, up to the amount. Okay, and and um, Ms. Harper, you're saying that it ends in June? Um, well, she graduates in May. So whenever okay. he's off of child support, I don't mind coming to sit in your court every month if that's what it's okay. going to take for him to make a court payment. I mean, a okay. child support payment. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm fine with that too, except that, you know, if ever you miss a hearing, then a warrant will issue. So I just want to make sure that you understand that. Um, well, no, I'm not going to say just the hearing. If you miss a hearing and no payments are made. Um, but I'm going to also ask that um, every month I need to get that full amount. We can't do any partial payments. Okay, so our next hearing date is going to be okay. So I am not seeing a payment since June, Mr. Mark. No. Did the... you remember that email that uh, you told me to send you about that paper that I told you how how my uh, job, my two jobs, got to get taken from me, and you told me to send you the paperwork and email. And last time we last time we was in court, and I sent it to uh, to child support to give it to you to let you know what happened with my license and how I lost my two uh, streams of income. But what? Where's your payment? I never I, I never know. tell people that they're waived from making payments. Even if I ask you to show me something, you still have to pay. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I understand that, ma'am. I I wasn't trying to get out of that in no no way, shape, form, or fashion. But what happened was by my license was uh, and my two streams of income was taken away, I had to start searching for another job because I didn't have my license. So I started mm -hmm. searching for another job and I just started working like last week, two, two, two different jobs. So I'll be making a payment next week and start making a payment from that. Then I went to child support and let them know everything that was going on with me the whole while everything was going on. I kept I kept up with everything, showed them my, my uh, all my uh, check stub, the check stub. I just got just got one check stub. I showed them that. And I told them they could start back to the other stream of income that I just fought to get back because I've been going through some identity theft. So I just I just went back over to told them they could start taking seventy five dollars a week. I just set all that up. Mm -hmm. I've been a child support. I've been keeping up with everything, man. But I just started working last week, and I start making a payment next week. So, Miss Arena Camari, are you showing this in his case? Yes, Your Honor. I'm showing that he did go down to the office. He showed him the new okay. employer information. They removed the driver's license override. Um, they mm -hmm. place the overrides and um, that does look like that's true. Okay. Okay. And I told him okay. start taking uh, 75 dollars a week to, to catch up with the rearage. So I can mm -hmm. uh, catch up and I start taking that weekly out okay. of my check. And then I, I make my first payment next week and then they can start taking out uh, 75 dollars a week. Okay. So um, how much can Miss Baker ex ex expect to get this week? Uh, she get 200 this week. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after that, they, they'll be taking seven five dollars a week on my check because I told them they could take out. Then I just I'm just gonna keep keeping up with it from now. But then okay. also, I don't I don't have no address on where she's located because she moved. So I would like to mm -hmm. see about getting that. And I, I'm trying to get in contact with her for because uh, I'm in the process of getting a lawyer to get mm -hmm. uh to get visitation. With my son, I ain't seen my son since March, mm -hmm. so I don't know where she's at. I can't call. I call her. She got me blocked. And I'm it just okay. like I'm, I can't get in contact. I was gonna have some lawyers come on here today to talk to her about that because uh, mm -hmm. I ain't got time not to be seeing my son. Okay. Now, of course, you know from the last one that that part I can't do anything about. Um, but actually, you are. You thought you in the beginning when you came on that you say that everybody must know where everybody lives. No, no. I just said that the child has to reside with the custodial parent. Um, in DeKalb County, and that um, 
you know, child support has to know where everybody is, but we can't give you that information. Okay, but um, but you are free to open a case for legitimation, and that oh, way you I'm get we yeah, still that married. way you get you get legal rights to right. um, you know to make sure. Well, actually, you have those if you're still ma legally married, you have those rights right now. Right, that's what I'm saying, man. That's what I know. Okay, okay uh, Miss Baker. Um, the last time we was here, you said that he needed to make a payment of nine hundred. Some mm -hmm. I can't no, remember. She, did. she paid six hundred. She said six hundred. Well, and he never paid well, not one dime towards. I just got a job. I told you. Put on it. I, okay, on. okay, Mister Mark, I, I hear you. Can I talk, please? And then, so he has not paid not one dime towards any of it and he's been going out of town he's been taking care of that child he has with down syndrome and he just he has not done anything and he and it's like very low payment very low he could at least pay fifty dollars a week or something and he well, hasn't he's, attempted he's committed... to pay anything okay well he's committing to pay 75 dollars no a week now. but judge We've been coming here since mm -hmm. June, and I then understand. every time it's an excuse. Like the last, the first time he said it was his taxes, and then the second time he said it was a job, and then he come back again and said it's a it's another job, and then mm -hmm. he manages to not keep these jobs long enough for the child support to even go through. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like how many times we got to keep coming back and he keeps making up all these excuses okay, because so if, you, if you set up a court date for the next time, I guarantee you he's going to say he doesn't have that job. It, something mm -hmm. happened to that. It's okay. always something. So, so tell you what, Miss Baker, this is going to be the last one. Because I, I know I know what you're saying, and I try to give I try to give these dads every opportunity. So this is going to be the last one. We're going to set you up for a calendar on December the first, and if you're not getting that seventy five dollars a week, and we don't have anything set up, or if he has stopped working that job, we're just going to go ahead and do the arrest warrant. Okay. Yeah, because he's only concerned with that handicapped child he has. Mm -hmm. that well, I'm, you know, that that's an, an applaudable thing. I'm not going to criticize for that. Um, but we do need to make sure that we take care of all of our children. OK, so right. that's um, what I'm saying. So, Mr. Mark, you understand what you have to do, right? And you've already committed to it, so I'm not yes, asking for anything. I'm gonna do what I gotta different. do, man. I love okay. my son. Okay. He he love him so. He love him so much. He don't even bother to see about him. So. Yeah, I've been trying to call you to come okay. see him. Okay, both of you, we're gonna go ahead and move on. Just be at your hearing December first, and you Just are dismissed. Can I say one thing? Okay, make it quick because I'm ready for my next one. Every time I try to attempt for him to see the boy, he calls the police on me um, for no reason. He's a snitch. Okay. okay. Okay, then. Well, you know, you know your relationship and, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, you know, yeah.